playing Call of Cthulhu. It's a game I've been wanting to play for a while. So let's just, you know, start loading chapter one. Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him up from his torpor. Ooh. Pierce must follow a new case quickly or, list, or risk losing his license. So I guess we are Edward Pierce and we are a drunkard. It's always good news. I love alcohol addiction in my protagonist. I really, <laughs> it really does wonders for the game experience when your protagonist is a hot mess. Love and low times. They're great so far. <laughs> really good. Really fast. If I am mad, it is a mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. So right away we're... <laughs> We're doing great. What is that? Dead fish everywhere? It's cool. Yes, let me walk around in it. from. Also, these controls are making me dizzy. How do we interact with stuff? Is there any way to like lower the sensitivity on that uh, mouse there? Settings. Control. Can I lower that? All the way. How about... Of my cat. Oh, that's terrible now. Bear with me. Ah, uh, there's a game settings. Controls. Like that, maybe? That should be okay, I think. Interact. There's no prompt for that though. I guess I can tug on that as much as I want, but there's no way for me to exactly break into that. Yeah, here we got a lot of fish. Great. Nothing's what it looks like. It's an interesting obstacle for right at the right at the gate. The game. Is there a key? Oh, maybe I could just crouch through here. No. What are my controls? Oh my cat. Oh my cat. I don't know why he's so upset. Crouch is A. Yes, that is incredibly. In oh, crouch is control shift. Still. Why isn't crouch C? Uh, control. Okay. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. Lamp comes with its own uh, mist 
Is there like a running option? Do I have to walk around like a slow old man? Also, can I unlock this from this side or is that a no-no? No, that's a no-no. What about this? Oh, what? Leave it alone, bloody hands, McGee. Next thing, or when I hit E, will be automatically. Yes, the automatically uses the bolt cutters. Fantastic. All right, good to know that that's the thing I can do. Get in the water. No? What am I gonna do if I can't get in the water? Maybe I gotta go back to where I came from? Maybe. Maybe I missed something. Am I supposed to go in there? No. Get up. Don't fight. You have been chosen. To run. Hold down. What? Uh, no, no, no. How do I run? If I want, if I need to know how to run, I would like to know. Run is left shift. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's something I need to know. Thank you very much. Everything has already been written. This is a bit loud for me. I don't know about you guys. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. I would like to. If it means I'm going to be a tentacle man. Ah! Or that dead guy. Shift to run, right? Oh. Ooh, this is very Bioshock for an opening. I hate whiskey. I also hate whiskey. It tastes bad to the me. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Bron Sather, there is definitely a Cthulhu in the lava. It is a uh, Cthulhu, but I think we have other problems besides the Cthulhu, like getting murdered by cold people. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I ch closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Alright. Can I open the case? No? Can I? Can I? Oh wait. Are we not? Are we not opening? Are we against opening cases? Are we firmly... Are we firmly against it? Okay, I guess. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I'm keep lowering this a bit, I think, maybe. It's still kinda hurting my ears. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. You're right, you don't need to pick up those books. That'd be silly. I'm gonna leave the radio on. <laughs> of course. I wonder why I still take these things. Sleeping pills, use of caution. Doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their pieces are wearing off. Okay. 
Okay, sounds like somebody's got some PTSD. That's fine. We're doing fine. Oh. I used to be an avid reader. Who's this guy? California, Alaska? I don't know. And then just a bunch of... Something, something. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Mm -hmm. Where am I? Lost battalion. Oh. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. How do I... I didn't even need to open that lighter. Oh. Alright, well. Middle of the mouse is opening your lighter. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. That's actually kind of sad. Husband never understood that his wife had left and he kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Uh, that's so great. <laughs> Have a drink. Don't oh, drink. I am not a big drinker. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return, and one of these mornings I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Ooh. This is a lot of things. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Right, we got eloquence. It represents your ability to influence those to talk by power of speech. Always good, not my strongest skill. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects, improving your skill chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior, improving the skill, increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person. Oh, I, I kind of like that. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult. Improving this increases your chances of determining the use and origin of cult occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Medicine represents your medical knowledge, determining the doses of a drug, making a diagnosis, or expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Investigation represents your ability, your investigating talents, improving the skill, increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object, and of picking locks. Well, it seems like we're already pretty strong on investigation and strength. I wonder if we should cap those two out and then go ahead and start working on other skills. And then we have literally no knowledge of the occult, so I don't know how that's going to work either. Hmm. Oh. Is this sanity? Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Maeus Argonne Offensive. I know nothing about this. He is one of the few survivors of the lost battalion, American units that suffered heavy, heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off nightmares that haunt him. I have no information yet about dark water. I've got... My old lighter that I engraved a memory of the infantry division in the Men Lost Battalion. Alright. I dig you, Pierce. Let's get I out of here. Business here to attend to. Oh! Okay. I guess. Should I sit down? No? What am I doing here? I've been in here, yes. I have business here to attend to. What's the business? Why don't you give me the business, sir? I guess I'll have a drink. This will affect my destiny. Jeez Louise. Can I leave now? I've affected my destiny? I have business here. No. There is no reason to affect my destiny. Should I shut off the radio? Alrighty. Game saved. I have to shut off the radio. I like the radio. Where's the phone? Oh. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? 
That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Frog Ben, should I just be like a raging drunk for the whole game? Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Yeah, this is what I was trying to figure out before. Should I just... Oh, I have eight character points? Then... Oh! Oh. Oh. Two more left. I guess we'll go to... I hope that was a good idea. Okie dokie. Sure. I hope I get more character points. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. There's never been but more people dying. Worth? Come on. They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom Whoa. I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. I had one sip of whiskey. One sip of whiskey. Calm free to leave down. Anytime, oh, sir. he means the bottles on the table. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Well, then I don't need to be doing any investigating. Her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Yeah, Bronze Sather. I don't know about the point allocation. I, I hope that, that makes sense. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Yeah, why, what are we investigating? The they say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would uh, never have done uh, such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. And my painting. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Well, I don't think you painted this. How about that? What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. <laughs> I didn't know my psychology stat, dude. To detect I can't. Some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. I didn't know my psychology stat. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know my psychology stat. I'm so sorry. It's strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Yeah. I 
A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is a sender. He brought me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case. Named after... Named after his daughter who died in a... Oh, named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. Okay. I'm going to examine the file here. A warehouse on Darkwood. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Yeah. Rather thin. A shipping label, some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater, the police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Very flat bunch of papers and book. Oh, uh, file. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Ah. Oh, because I'm an investigation expert, so it's not right with the story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Hmm. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. Everyone she never she would have heard a fly. Uh, crazy. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. If she lived in the island with her family, wouldn't there be more like reports about her? More things that we could know? I'm a private investigator. Not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. I... The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You no. must find the meaning I'm sorry, behind all this. I don't have the stat for that. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. He's not being very loud, Edward. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. You're just gonna leave me this painting from your daughter? Darkwater. Mm. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The, the cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address 
a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be a starting the starting point for the Pierce investigation. So we're going to warehouse 36, which has what looks like green lanterns, and I would like to know how they how they do that. Well, we're not going anywhere right now. We're gonna wait for this game to load. We are we're gonna wait patiently and we're gonna think about all the things that have to do with this case so far and how maybe I should have put more into the psychology stat so I'd be able to properly analyze this painting and maybe end the game before it began. <laughs> There. Is that the guy who died in the flashback? I like what they're doing so far atmospherically. It's very cool. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Why do so I always slouch? What wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Oh, good. That's exactly what I was thinking. I wanted to go look around the docks. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to me? I can respect that. I don't really so much run as I do fast track. Right. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If you force it too much, we'll break everything. The same goes for you, sir. 
Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. Why are we so close to this man? Am I breathing on his face? You can't, or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? No. You can't understand. Oh, I couldn't answer any of the questions. Oh, yeah. I, oh I have to be careful about There's the sequence. I didn't think they mattered. Something real bad. Uh... Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. <laughs> I mean, I'm You're definitely not a, not a specialist. It's a sign. There's something coming. Can I can I pick up the oh. All right, there's nothing around here really. Is it just so I can see the whale? Alright, and it's not really a big deal. What about these guys? Are they just blocking the way or can I talk to them? What about this guy? He doesn't even really care about me. You hear that? You build rats don't There's nothing scare for me. you here either. What did he call Beat us it. just now? I said you were a build rat. And even a There's nothing for you Fox, here either. Beat it. You think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up. Alright, I guess. Let's go to the bar. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Yes, Ron Tyler. They definitely should have made out with the cop. That would have made and everything we better. Don't serve troublemakers. You're overdoing it. That guy didn't show us. Yeah, that guy was really respectful. Hold to test eloquence. I don't think my eloquence is that high, but we can try for it. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Is that successful? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. Dark when the water. Left for long months and came back it reminds us of the golden age of dark of water. Flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Fair enough, Roy. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? 
Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Mm. I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, and I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't. It's so weird. Like these, there's no indication that once you start following a dialogue tree, that it's gonna mess you up. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Absolutely. I've got what I need. Anything else? Oh, okay. Um... I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? I know it's a woman now. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Mm. Screams? And that's not all. Oh, I hope this isn't like There's a stealth game. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um. No. I get it? No, I don't want to order a drink because apparently that like messes me up. I guess I should make this decision now or I'm going to be like a horrible alcoholic through the whole game. Eh. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Bah. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Fair enough, dude. That'll be all for now. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, you look fine. How about you guys? Do you like our song? Love it. <laughs> We're true sirens. Beautiful. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous All right. What is the accent we're going it's a for local here? Legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Put that away. Oh, we are gonna talk, dude. But first. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Miraculous Clash. 
catch. The Skyla returns to port to save Dark Water from the famine. We had given up hope the crew of the Skyla, or what remains of it, returns to Dark Water port late Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the Setsim? Set Setsim? Set that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging <laughs> over the side of the ship the surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits there is no doubt that the immense size of this will will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves bringing in ends of the famine from which parts of the island was suffering Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting up his warehouse for rent from June for fishing workshop or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers at the end of the Stranded Whale, the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family and friends to taste the miraculous catch. Eat per each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. That's awesome. Now you, dude. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Mm -hmm. Hello. What are you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. No. I told you to beat it. No, I want to talk. I told you to beat it. I want to talk. No, I'm not so good at talking. I guess that was pretty cheesy. What's a woman like you doing in a bar like this, dame? Can I go now? Or... What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat. There's nothing for you here yeah. either. Beat it. Alright, well you guys gotta figure out the scuffle, you know? I guess still fishing. I guess let's go talk to the cop. Or, not the cop, the guy. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has to say about me rummaging through his things in front of him. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Is that the woman at the bar? Cat. Alright. Anything else in here before we have a chatter in with Fitzroy? It's a boat. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. That's pretty amazing, actually. Fishing equipment. Huh. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? This is Velu. Charming. And back here. Learning of medicine. I would like to read it. Is that just too much? 
Oh, can I pick up things to learn more stuff? Or, I mean... Did that up my medicine progression? Not quite sure what happened there. Okay. View the character sheet. I mean, this is the character sheet, right? Yeah. Okay. Good to know that we can do that. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Photograph him. This photograph of the man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge. It should be as a wooden leg. That's because it is Fitzroy. Nothing in here. What a macabre souvenir. Hmm. Can I just now? Done. I've greatly enjoyed my time going through your area without your permission or consent. Also, you should probably clear out this whole thing on your steps. I'm not, I mean, I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just saying. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Frog Sabbath, do not joke about the no, whole Frogman. Is it really a stealth game? Oh, that's not great. Wait, what? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But uh, in truth, you're likely to be. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Okay. Only a few dates. It's illegible. 1899-1907. And a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Oh, where'd he go? Where did he go? Where'd he? Oh, hey, where you going? Where you going? Oh, ignoring me. I cannot believe he's ignoring me. Oh, well, that's something. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, my the sails. fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I don't know what to do, I'm like afraid. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um... You're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Hmm. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. 
That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Hmm. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. He cloned me. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Hmm. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Oh, Look, right it's back. right there. The warehouse is opposite the gym. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Okay. Understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay. One character point. Okay. Uh, let's give it. To... Should I finish investigating? I don't even know. Spot hidden feels important. Eloquence feels super important. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I need to do that. Can I... Can I reset? No, uh, yeah, let's reset. Um, okay, not that, not that. Um, uh, oh, this guy's finally got off of their scuffle. Good news. Because you know, I hit literally every button I'm trying to remember the character menu is. Um, controls, interaction, shoot. Uh, okay. Just 
be the best investigator we can be. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah. He's going to get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something You want to talk? You know, your brothers on the other side of the pier are doing the same thing as you. Oh, we can. Get me with my expert investigating. Damnation. I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. It's kind of messed up. I almost have a perfect investigation. How... This is the beginning of the game. How good's it gotta be? What is like a game-breaking thing in there? It's got some weird stuff on it. Let's go check that out. Oh, you have to have some knowledge of the occult to understand this. Oh. St. Brendan. Patron saint of... Sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Nope, because we got no cold knowledge. It's no use. The padlock won't give. I hate that the padlock won't give. It bothers me that the padlock won't give. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I didn't do that. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. <laughs> There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you, what are they guarding? The bootleggers, scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Jeez, guys. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to talk about Cat. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Yep. Drink away your money. Okay, thanks guys. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I think I can crunch. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut, on the docks. Not even. And don't go looking there. 
Oh, I did, and I couldn't break in. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm, it's the entrance to the warehouse is unguarded. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. Yeesh. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Now can I try and break into that thing? No. It's no use. The padlock won't give. If you would just let me jump. Can I jump? I feel like that's a... Okay. Yeah. Controls. Keyboard. Crouch run, light, next light, previous light. No, no jumping. No, that's if you're fighting each other, you can fight them. Ah, uh, I don't know. Do my weird jog run. Setting so the left the entrance to something unguarded, but I wasn't really paying close enough attention to get what he meant. Also, there's this guy. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Mm, that like, one's is not great. 
What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay. Spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. Awesome. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. That's fine. Is there anything else? You again. I told you to beat it. Okay. No need to get worked up. All right. So he's not talking to us anymore. But we lied to him. Put the put the lighter away, Edward. Put it away. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. But I do. I do want trouble with the bootleggers. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. Hmm. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Mechanism. Okay. A handle. It must come from these old winches. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. supposed to do? We mounted it. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something or misunderstanding something? I don't know. It's like I can't tell. Is that too bad?
There we go. That was missing. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Yeah. Let's go. Is that still not enough? There's more. Okay. I have no idea what the right thing to do is. Got it. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Okay. Oh, so when it's done, the shackles appear. Okay, that makes sense. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Oh, could I not be strong enough? Feels like this is a story thing. Damn, I broke it. Um, um, cool. useless nonsense just to test strength all right well well a little mouse has got lost on our turf you're not only inquisitive you're also stupid what gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf Your turf. That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Ah. Is your name Kat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, that's a cheap shot, Kat. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh. So I should have explored the other I'm areas. getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Alright, well, how do we deal with her? There's those guys. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us. Oh, these guys are new. What are they about? We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Oh. I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. Let's see this guy's You're back again. What can I do for you? Apparently the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. 
You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? Mm. I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. That's a good point to know. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can... Don't go into the warehouse because... Assuming it's blocked off now. Can you kill me if I try and go in there again? I'll bet you don't see one like her every day, do you? Yes. Cat is an extraordinary woman. Damn right. There's nobody more intimidating than her on the docks. Except the captain, of course. But you're lucky that she left you alive. She must think that you can be of use to her. With that, please do excuse me, because I'd prefer not to be seen talking with you for too long. Fair enough. Alright, let's Still in here. Horrible, horrible woman that she is. Yeah. Another break. One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down something that I respect. So understand by that, if I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to dark water? I don't know. I... I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families? They were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we are gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. And Cthulhu. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. So then why have this, with you has this been such a problem? Make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Fine. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I why? guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Ugh. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Mm. Sure. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Yeah, I probably could have talked to that guy and learned about the sewers, Follow but me. this is the easiest Nobody way. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. Nobody cares. I feel like I've and just been police? making mistake after mistake they with this. They did nothing to stop you? The local cops? 
The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. It's cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to And we're walking. No way to trade it and we're walking. And we're walking. Oh. You could walk faster. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with her. I'm with her. Do I have to, like, keep up with her? Or is that, like, a thing? Does she care? So how much? It's the Be a gentleman and move that for me. <sighs> I guess that's the way I would sneak in. That wasn't like I'm brazenly walking in with the boss. I feel very important right now. Stop it! Put it away. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Thank you. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To enter a reconstruction scene. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What happened here? Mm. No, no. Is there anything else I missed while I was here? Anything that may or may not be important? It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. Alright, looks like we've gotten everything that we can get. Is that it? Is that everything we needed? Okay. Man, all that fuss just to get into the damn warehouse. Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. 
My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Mm -hmm. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Oh, Why cat. You? Savage. Come on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Who are you telling me to look behind me? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. I'm so excited to go. Oh, and to sit here through this loading screen. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises, signs of recent occupation, as well as partly charred, as a partly charred painting interrupted in, by, in his searching by Officer Brady. Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Awesome. So no stealthing necessary. Diplomacy. Diplomacy uh, wins. Oh, whoa. Brown Sanders had a lot to say. Uh, man, who the hell does this off-brand Elizabeth from Bioshock think he is? Give her the hand. Never mind, she fucked the shit up. See if she you had smooched the cop before you wouldn't have. Oh, you're right. I should have smooched the cop. Also, I'll be right back. This is a good scene to just kind of dip out on. Two seconds, guys. Oh, I entered the madness by accident. Can I pause the madness? I cannot pause the madness. Enjoy the scene. I'll be right back. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Hello everyone, I'm back. I hope this man and I have been, been haven't been making intense eye contact for too long. I also thought the mansion was burnt no to the fire. trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. 
Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have so many questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. Mm. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Yes. But no, I have more questions. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Sounds Is there anything like else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? As I have other things. There are other things we must discuss. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Well, Anything I'll else? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. Seems like it, it remains to be upkeep. seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I thought that the I thought she was a famous Night artist. Falls quickly here. You're telling and me I the income from her art wasn't arrive. enough to keep I'll up her house? You, if only to reassure Silas. Sure. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Okie dokie. Then I'm running past you. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Wow. But the architecture there. seems too recent. Hmm. An excellent point, my dear. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. It was Cat. Cat did it. Understand. Lock her up. Put her Silas in the jails. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Mm. Let's go to the mansion. No, it's not. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let yeah, alone allowing it. Just the Even that broad too. baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Okay, and... Poor kid. <laughs> you don't care about the kid? You're right. F, F that dead kid. Who needs them? Alright. 
Dead graves, dead people. Dead kids. Don't remember where I came from. That's not great. Okay, that's where I came from. What's up this way? Look at this game lets you explore. It's kind of fun. It's kind of super fun. Oh, it's just another way up to the mansion. Oh, and you have to take the side. Uh, yeah, but wait, what about over there? It's over there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I wish he would run a little bit faster. He's like... This is how slow he moves when you're not running, and this is how fast he moves when you're running. It's like minimal differences. Eh. Quick shamble. Just quickly shambling forward. Alright. It's over here. Anything good? No. That's a waste of time and a half. Why do they have this section here if there's nothing to see? Ignore the entrance to go to the right. The crow. And check out. This entrance is still in use. Oh, I didn't even know the front entrance was not in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Uh -huh. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We got them! Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh, uh. Where's the cop? You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. Let me That's in. why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. It seems right. like nonsense to me. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Thanks, dude. Creepy, mean, murderer guy. Is there any reason for me to leave? Oh, I'm not gonna bother This gate is locked. Ah. Put that away.
The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Hmm. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. Can we just go in? It's locked. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. I think they kind of identify with each other. Bourbon. Empty, of course. shamble back to the homestead. Beers. Shall we enter? Oh, uh, one more second. Actually, yeah. Uh, you know what? Just go here real quick. No, there's nothing. Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. Sure. You're right. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. That copper is too soft. Who is into violent corpses nowadays? <laughs> I don't want no more violence or tragedy. Just tired. Just tried to cave your skull in with an axe. Yeah, I mean, I think that can go either way, Bronze Nether. I think you can, like, um, choose to beat the shit out of him if you really want to, but I do not really want to. Now let us sit through this loading screen, as was intended. Pearson Officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion, the family lies in the graveyard of the property guarded by Silas Winchester. The old caretaker, still faithful to his employees, keeps watch on the place. Armed within his axe, Pierce and Bradley manage to calm him down and finally get a hold of the key to the Hawkins mansion. They enter the building looking for the scene of the fire. What a beautiful, giant-ass mansion. Follow me. I know the place. I'm not following you. And by Who I'm not following you, I mean I don't have any choice. Ooh, I got character points. I love character points. Are we gonna just put everything into I feel like I should put stuff into other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe put some stuff into psychology. I'm like so Ah, uh, but we're so high on investigation. Let's just do it. Let's commit. We're hundred percent on investigation. Investigation's done. We're done. Oh no. no. 100%. I want, I want to be the best investigator. Now these are all the inhabitants of dark water. We will go through this at another time, I think. Got that key now. Okay. Did I? Did I? Successfully? Yeah. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. Stop it. What does this tell me? Oh, I'm sure it tells us a lot because we now have 100% investigation abilities. What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. Alright, he's upset. Is there anything else to see in here? Oh, here we go, here's something. The boy was probably here. 
smashed his plate on the floor. Made him angry. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? I don't know. We'll find out. Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Piers. Daydreaming again? Yes. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Can access there. Charles and Sarah's wedding was painted by Sarah herself. Cool. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles Hawkins poses like an explorer in front of exotic ruins. It is common knowledge that he was still his fortune expensive church. What was he looking for? I don't know. What would you guys do if you had a, a fortune to Let's waste see if I can away find something the cops missed. on anything you wanted? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? I don't know, but there's a hidden item under here. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? It's a shoe. Am I not allowed to see the shoe? Because I see it. I see the shoe. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Cause Cthulhu. I would really like to be able to get that shoe. Did someone escape the fire? That's a huge clue. And I really like to be able to see that shoe. It was important. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee.
So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Now let me go back to that ship. It's not there anymore, huh? Son of a bitch. Well, that kind of sucked. So I just have one more character point to blow on something. Alright, so we're full on investigation. I guess let's focus our next thing on psychology. Because I guess it seems like it's important. At least let's get psychology up a little bit more. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go get some points into occultism. Medicine and occultism can only improve by objects discovered in the environment. Alright, that's good to know. So we really have to focus on these things. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. I won't disturb anything. History of medicine. Awesome. Medicine thing up a little bit, which is always good to do. that we can't look at. Let's go that way, but what's up here? Furniture. Furniture. This door is blocked from the outside. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Take it. Take it. It's an original. It's just gonna fall apart here. No one's here to take care of it. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Okay. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should be up in spot here. No. Book on the floor. Let me see what there's a lot in here. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. It's weird I couldn't look at that before.
This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Any pictures or anything to be looking at in particular? Just checking this out. I'm gonna check that out, buddy. Let's go upstairs if there's anything up there. Books everywhere. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Okay. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. So now... A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. So maybe I should go downstairs and go through these bookcases again with the lighter when I'm done up here. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Mm. Uh -uh. Something is a head and over here. Crowbar. A crowbar could prove useful. I don't know what for, but I'm glad we found it. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. I like that painting. Here, over here. Yes, check out. What does this look back to the rest of the mansion? What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me that although I, it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully, yours, Anton Wilson. All right, good to know. Anything over here. Anything over here, over here. Right, well, before I continue, let me run back to the downstairs, make sure I didn't miss anything. And then I will continue on my merry way. Yeah, that's what I thought. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. Oh, I think I Seems they got here around the 14th century. Anything else? It's like a well lit area, but there isn't much here. I guess it's a way of encouraging you to move on. Right. Hmm. Oh, human body comparative analysis. Okay. Oh, so I'm getting a lot of books on medicine. How are we doing on medicine? Almost up to two. The boys' room. Yeah. A 
child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Mm. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Before we leave, is there anything else here that I need to see? Especially clues or anything. I haven't seen the question mark anymore in this room, so I'm just gonna pause the movie. Should have opened in reconstruction mode. My bad. Person ran this way. Locked. Where I come from? Where I come from? I love the atmosphere, like the limited music, and just like this general sense of, uh, Red is really good. This is where we came from. Looks like, yeah. We came from this way. Went this way. Went this way. Oh, investigating is not my forte. Went this way. That guy touched that. It's locked. Over here. <laughs> Wait, what? So I think this is the sound of them. It's right there. Oh, there it is. It's right there. You see it. It's very small. Key that opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office is concealed. Oh, does that show sure, that open this door? Yeah, nice. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. What Despite what to? happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. She was selling quite a bit of paintings. And it seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, <clears throat> ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last ones, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. <laughs> your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Hmm. Maximilian, you could have checked on her. It seemed like she was really suffering. The door is blocked on the other side. Alright, good to know. I guess that maybe is another way to get in if you don't find the key. Not really else in here? I mean, I'm complaining. It's nice to find the key and get in here, but... What will her room reveal about her? Uh, you can literally just go around and have to find the key. That's upsetting. Barbiturates. 
Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Like this is a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never go without them. Get some Anything else? Anything else I need to see or know? I have a hundred percent investigation. You have no excuse, sir. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, we've already been in here. Full circle. So even if I couldn't get in with the key, I could get in this way. I like how the game balances. It's a nice balance. Upstairs we go, go, go. Yeah, this guy. Ah, I got like this horrible feeling this of door dread. Is locked. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? There's no reason to be scared. Did you hear that? Hear what? Hear what? Oh, man. How long have I been streaming? Oh my god, Bron Sathereth. Nazareth. The rest would go into building a dam, take away the water, and you kill the entire dock town. Then I'd be the only person left with that accent. If I had a fortune, I'd hire a speech therapist to teach me how to talk like those damn talk people. <laughs> Alright, I think I've been streaming for a little bit, and I'm spooking myself, so I'm probably going to end the stream here. Let me just save real quick. Oh, can is this like a... Oh, cancel. Is this not a saving game? Does this game not, not believe in the saves? Alright, well... It's gonna be weird next time I go back to the game. Yeah, I return to main menu. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. Alright, uh, you guys. Have a good night. Bye bye.